Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you with another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. This is a series of videos that I do where I go over there and I talk about uh, different foods that I try and drinks and things like that. Uh, sometimes, you know, restaurants that I've gone to, things like that. Um, and I go over there and I consume these things and then I talk about them and I ramble on about things and that's the format of the show. Uh, so if you're new to it, th this is what you can expect. Um, and if you're not new to it, then you might be sick of hearing my opening. But uh, that's, that's my opening for the moment. So anyway, folks, uh, what am I trying for you today? Well, folks, you've probably already seen the, uh, uh, the title of the video, but in case you haven't, and because I didn't bring the, uh, the entire box, I just brought one thing, and hopefully it'll come up because the lighting's a little bit meh, because normally I do these during the day, but I'm doing this one at night. Uh, boom! Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer Singles to Go. I saw these while looking for actual dad's root beer uh, probably about a month ago now. Um, I knew that they had like A&W ones and like Crush and stuff like that. I didn't know that they had dad's. Now, I like dad's root beer a lot. It's probably my favorite of the more commonly commercial available root beers. Um, Though it has become less common as I've gotten older. It used to be that I could find them at like the pretty much all the local supermarkets, like Jewel, uh, uh, well, Dominic's isn't around anymore, but um, things like that. Uh, now I pretty much have to go to like Caputo's, uh, maybe Fresh Market. I'm not sure if, uh, or Whole Foods rather. Uh, they might have it too, but I don't think so. So, it's become something of a scarcity, and that's why I ran into this. And I saw it, and I was like, I have to try it. Uh, I love Dad's Root Beer. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. It is, however, definitely... It is not a root beer for everybody, I will say that. Um, I grew up on it. Uh, my dad introduced me to Dad's. Uh, so it also has that, that special attachment to me. Um... But it is definitely not a root beer for everybody. Uh, if you're accustomed, like A&W is probably the most popular root beer uh, here in the good old U.S. of A. Uh, and I think root beer is pretty much, as I understand it, like root beer is mostly a United States thing, which kind of surprised me. Uh, yeah, if you're used to A&W, Dad's is not the same. Uh, it definitely has its own very unique flavor. Nothing else tastes quite like Dad's. Uh, which is probably why I like it so much. So, I'm going to try this, and I'm going to compare it against the real thing. The, uh, the Big Daddy Dads. Is it going to be as good as the actual dads? No. I can tell you that right now. It's not. Uh, I mean, that might sound biased, but come on, folks. I'm pouring a packet into some water. Versus years of, you know, going over there and formulating this, putting it together, so. And actually, let's see. Ingredients in, uh, in Dad's. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, natural and artificial flavor, sodium benzenate as preservative. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess Dad's root beer is just its own company. That's cool. From Jasper, Indiana. Good on you, Indiana. Uh, don't always get the best reputation uh, out of the 50, but uh, you have some of my family there and some of my friends, and you have Dad's Root Beer, so good on you. Uh, and I'm sure there's also plenty of other nice things about Indiana. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's give this a shot. Um, usually when I do these, I like to tell a little story or something to associate myself with the item. Uh, like I said, you know, for me, my... The greatest attachment to dads is through my dad. Um, and sadly, at the time that I'm doing this, uh, you know, he passed away a little bit over a year ago now. Um, I actually just uh, celebrated his one-year passing about a month ago from the time I'm doing this. So 
yeah, Dad's is always going to be kind of a special one for me. Um, but yeah, not to bring the video down, but that's my little association with it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. I miss the days when I could get Dad's in like a 24-pack or a 12-pack. They don't, they don't do 24-packs as much as they used to. Once they invented the 12-pack, that kind of went by the wayside. But, uh, although I know they do have them available, yes. Um, it smells kind of root beery. Let's see how this goes. Hold a thing through the thing. Get it out for all that maximum root beer flavor. Okay, so now it's in the thing. With ice or with ice mountain water, by the way. Fuck your Nessie, your life nonsense. We're gonna give it the full shake, uh, even exposing the the arm fat while we do it. Because we want to give it the best shot possible of being. I don't know. Yeah, something. Um, obviously, I can't imagine it's gonna be carbonated, but, so you can see it, it's, uh, it's a pretty dark flavor, I mean, it's, I can't really compare it to the, uh, the Dad's directly, because the Dad's bottles are already, you know, kind of colored brown, but, let's give it a shot, folks, and I wanted to do this, like I said, normally I do these during the day, uh, I opted to do this one, because I knew that if I waited any longer, uh, to do that, I was gonna drink this, and then I have to go out and buy another one so I can do a comparison. So it does smell kind of root beery. Let's give it a shot. Okay. That's better than I was expecting. But, I, the, the easiest way to describe it is it tastes like weak, flat root beer. Um, it does have some of the taste, but it's nowhere near, like, even, you know... Again, you know, going off like maybe A&W or Mug, some of the more commercial root beers, it doesn't even have that level of taste to it. Um, and it doesn't have the same texture. Uh, it's it's definitely more just watery, because it's, it's water. <laughs> um, just with some root beer type stuff in it. Um, yeah, it, it's... It really is like if you went out and bought like some, uh, oh, what would be a thing? Like if you went out and bought like some great value root beer, uh, and you opened it and you went over there and let it sit for a while and then you were like, oh, that's right. I had this. That's kind of what it tastes like. Uh, there's no carbonation. Um, it does have a root beer ish flavor to it, but it, again, it, you know, feels watered down, very kind of low quality. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to, to say much else for it. I'll say this, I think if, uh, cause you know, this is cold, it was in my, my fridge. Uh, I will say if it were colder, like maybe if I'd had it in my freezer for a little bit, I think it maybe would have been better. Um, root beer definitely best cold like you know if you the, generally the colder the better um and honestly the more i'm drinking kind of the less root beerish it's tasting like that first uh sip of it probably the most root beerish that it tasted uh now it's tasting more waterish um again there's still flavor but yeah, it's, it's nothing spectacular. Uh, I mean, I can already tell you right now, this is going to win out by miles. Like, I didn't even have to do a comparison, but um, if nothing else, to get the uh, some of the taste of that out of my mouth. 
Um, get this to go. Oh, man. It is... It is so far apart, folks. I mean, you, you know it's going to be, of course, but, like... Dad's is such a distinct and very flavorful root beer that having this as a, you know, as, like, a substitute or whatever... No! Um... Yeah, no, it's not even close. I wouldn't even really say that, like, in terms of, uh, you know, trying to capture, like, a root beer flavor. It kind of does that a little bit. But I wouldn't say that it really even tries to, feels like it's really trying to capture, like, a dad's root beer flavor. Just more kind of a generic root beer flavor overall to me. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I can't. I'll be honest. I don't know why. I really don't. Um, I would say that it's better than nothing, but honestly, even if I were really jonesing for, like, some dad's root beer, uh, which does occur from time to time, if this was my only option, I would just go out and get some Bargs, uh, or Barks. I guess it's Barks, technically. Like, I looked that up and it freaked me out. Uh, I always thought it was a G, but I guess it's a Q, so I guess that makes it Barks. Um... Uh, or some mug, or even some A&W. Uh, this would be, like, a last-ditch option. It's there, it's a thing, um, I guess for the price, you know, like, I forget exactly how much the box cost me, uh, you know, and how many come in, in it. Uh, I know it does, it's not as much as, like, I did a, a, a thing for, uh, Skittles, uh, one, uh, like, pour-in mixes. Uh, you don't get as many as you did with the Skittles. Um, but, yeah, that's about, that's about the only way I could rationalize it. Like, if somebody, you know, <sighs> and I mean, to be fair, you know, a lot of times you see them in, like, dollar stores and things like that. Um, you know, so maybe that's what it is there for? I, I guess so, you know, like, in part anyway. Or maybe it's, I, you know, I didn't, does it say on the thing? Um... No, it probably says on the box. I was going to check the calories, like maybe it's less calories. I mean, obviously it's a smaller bottle, so. Uh, but yeah, man, I, would I recommend it? No. Um, not if you're looking for a dad's root beer experience. Yeah, I just don't think it even comes close. Is it like a bad drink? No. I mean, it's okay for what it is. I do a lot of mix-in uh, things because I, I have, you know, I try to drink a lot of water, uh, and you know, but I have to cheat sometimes. I just do. So I, I like to have a lot of options available to me, you know. So I have like Tang. I have like uh, diet, like I have like uh, Arizona green tea, and then just various fruit flavors and stuff. Those I think are very well suited for the mix-in things. With this, you're trying to basically recreate pop, and I just don't think that that works. A big part of soda is the carbonation, and it gives it so much texture, and it really gives it so much, you know, it adds to the overall experience and the flavor. You just, you're not going to get that. You can kind of flavor it to some extent, but, you know, so yeah. I personally wouldn't uh, recommend it. It's, like I said, it's not terrible. Um... And, like, you know, if it's a financial thing or if it's, um, you know, like I said, if it's a calorie thing or whatever, I mean, hey, you know, I'm not ragging on anybody who likes it. It's just not personally for me all that much. Uh, I've still got a box of stuff. I'm going to drink it. Uh, it's just, it's going to be a while before I finish it, which kind of works out because it will dust packets. So, anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off with that. Uh, if you can do five things for me first. Go over there and have yourself an amazing rest of your day, a fantastic rest of your week, a spectacular rest of your month, a uh, stupendous 
uh, rest of your year. If you could go over there and have just an absolutely incredible and amazing rest of your life. Especially if you're doing positive things, good things, bringing good stuff out in the world. That's fantastic. Oh, by the way, uh, I, I usually like to highlight my shirts because a lot of times I wear like band shirts and stuff. And I'm a big uh, like concert and music fan and everything. This is my head PE shirt. Yes, head PE. I've seen them, uh, seen them in concert only twice, uh, sadly, uh, but both times, absolutely fantastic. Definitely check out their stuff. Anyway, uh, final two things you can do for me, for, folks, not forks, folks. Uh, number one, you could go over there, try to bring some positivity into the world. Uh, if you can't, it's understandable. I can't do it all the time. Uh, but try not to be an asshole. Try to, you know, at the very least, if you're not putting good things out there, try not to take those good things away. Um, but again, we all have our moments, so, you know, don't beat yourself up too hard. Just try to curtail yourself when you can. Uh, and then the last thing, folks, if you could go over there, just do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, as long as it's something positive, something good in your life, uh, something that's going to, you know, uh, make you happy, you know, progress your goals or something like that. Uh, you know, maybe you're going to go over there and cultivate ladybugs or, uh, uh, I don't know, gaze up at the star. Something like that. Um, you know, as long as it's cool and everything's groovy and stuff, good times. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off. I am going to drink the rest of this. Oh, wonderful elixir. Uh, and hang out with my little hamster friends and all that good stuff. Bye. Mm.